I'm Jesse, and today I'll be going over everything you need to know about our placard system. In today's video, we'll cover the different bases, expansion items, and wraps, as well as how to tie it all together and integrate it into your kit. Let's start with the different bases that we offer. If you're looking for a very basic setup, we offer our, our Kangaroo Molly placard. Some of the common options you're gonna see on all of our placard bases start with height, right? So ride height, we have a standard versus optimized. Standard's just gonna be a little bit longer, fits carriers like the JPC, Scarab. Uh, again, you can check the product page for industry standard models that that fits. Optimized is gonna be meant for carriers like the MEPC that have adjustable ride height. Another option that you're gonna see is G-Hook versus Quasim. So Quasim is just simply GTSR buckles. They fit the industry standard Quasim buckles found on most carriers or GTSR buckles. Uh, then we have our G-Hook option. Again, that's the flat G-Hook, fits in the webbing or the laser cut grid on some carriers. G-Hook option allows it just to lay a little bit flatter. Um, if you're not lifting you know, or taking the, the placard on and off, a little, a little bit nicer of an option. So again, uh, if you're looking for a very basic setup to cover up that loop field uh, of the front of the carrier, Kangaroo has molly cells on the front, can put any of your standard molly pouches on. Has a very basic pocket. You'll find a strip of loop uh, and hook at the top that'll allow for integration of some of our placard expansion items, which we'll go over here in a bit. We also offer a few different variety of mag bases. Uh, we offer AR-15 and a three or four mag variant. Some nice features on the AR-15 are all of our mag bases, as you're gonna notice. Uh, they're all sewn so that, just like any of our mag pouches, they, they collapse under pressure, uh, but are sewn so that they remain open on that uh, you know, so really easy re-indexing there. Hybrid uh, Cordura and uh, webbing construction. Uh, makes the pouch very durable while retaining the magazines. If you need an extra level of retention to the magazines, uh, all of them are compatible with our shock cord system. So you notice that we have a uh, rivet hole on the rear, as well as a channel here that will allow integration with the, the shock cord kit for an extra level of retention. So we offer the, the AR-15 in a three or four mag variant. We have uh, an AR-10 in a three mag variant and a couple of different SMG mag placard bases. Then we also have a kind of roll your own, uh, allows for a single layer. This is our buildable placard base. So obviously uh, with the kangaroo or any of the mag bases, you can just run that standalone in your kit. You can just integrate that if you want to cover up that loop field. You can then use one of our placard wraps, which we'll go over uh, to cover up that loop on the front. Um, but that could just be ran as, by itself as is. Uh, to make it a little bit more modular, uh, add a little bit more capability to this placard system, we offer a bunch of different expansion items. Uh, some of the different expansion items that we offer, uh, as far as admin pocket-wise go, we offer a Velcro uh, half or a zippered half pocket. You can also get that in a full pocket option. So Velcro, full pocket, zippered full pocket. We also offer a small flat admin pouch here. As far as mag options, we have your standard double pistol mag. It's available in a double or single stack variant, as well as a single pistol mag. Again, double or single stack variant and an AR-15 mag. Also have a SMG mag placard and tourniquet placard expansion, flashbang placard expansion. Some nice tie-in items would be the MEPC hook, right? It allows for you to tie in for with gloves or chem light. We have a tourniquet sleeve. Again, that'll go off the side underneath any of the, any place on the, the placard expansion uh, or placard system. Got our shears holder, a Jimmy bar holder. Again, that's the Broco Jimmy bar. Same as the tourniquet, allows just integration anywhere that uh, on the placard system. And then our side ride pouches, which we went over in a different video. Basically then what ties all of this together would be our placard wraps. 
Uh, so a couple of different placard wrap options that we have would just be our standard slick Corridura front. We also offer Velcro, and again, all of these are available in a small or large size. Check the base product description page for which uh, placard wrap fits your placard base. And then we also offer a Molly version of that as well. So let's show you some kind of standard configurations and how we put this whole thing together and integrate it into our kit. So let's start with a very basic industry standard configuration. We'll start with a three AR-15 mag base. We will take our standard Velcro half pocket. I'm gonna open that pocket. We're just gonna slap that hook section right to the loop portion of the front of the placard base. Then we're gonna take our double pistol mag. Again, this allows for a little bit of a ride height adjustment here. I'm gonna set mine more toward the bottom. You know, this is where your, your OCD can kinda of come in. And then I'm gonna take our placard wrap. And all of our placard wraps have the extended loop feel so that as you're peeling this up, it doesn't pull the placard wrap off with it. I'm just gonna slap that right there on the front. Close that half pocket, and then I'm just gonna wrap that around. Sewing it in again. You can get a little bit more retention by just uh, pulling it tighter. You can get a little bit less retention by leaving it a little bit looser. I'm gonna seal that whole thing together. And then, as you can see, got a very standard configuration, three AR-15 mag, half pocket, double pistol mag. If you don't have the need for the double pistol mag, you wanted two pockets up front, very simple transition. Or if you just wanted one pistol mag and a tourniquet, for example, we're just gonna slap that single pistol mag on there, as well as that tourniquet placard expansion. Same thing, we're just gonna simply wrap that over. And there we've got that set up. So again, you can see very, very modular, allows for a quick changing if you've got a bunch of different uniforms. Uh, you can change out your camo pattern very simply and easily. Let's say you, uh, you know, again, now have a, a, a sub gun or PCC that you wanna take out. You can use these same placard expansion items, toss them onto your SMG placard base and you're off and running with those, those same exact uh, items. Let's say you want a little more low profile option. Uh, you don't necessarily have the need for three AR-15 mags or four AR-15 mags in the rear. Again, this is where our, our buildable placard base comes in. We're just gonna simply take that, take our single rifle mag, single pistol mag, slap those on the rear. I'm actually gonna take our flat pocket for this one as well. This could be integrated in the front or the rear, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put my, mine on the rear here. Actually use our zippered half pocket for this one. I'm gonna slap that there on the front. And then same thing, we can just take our placard wrap. This one will use the slick version. I'm just gonna slap that right there on the front wrap everything together. Now you can see I've got a single layer that has two admin pockets, rifle mag, and a pistol mag. After you've got your standard configuration put together, uh, again, we have some nice add-on items that fit in really well. We can add our little Velcro hook, allows for gloves, chem lights at the bottom, integrate a Jimmy bar, again, can fit under. Nice low profile there. If you wanna integrate a tourniquet off to the side here, same thing. I can ride in behind. And then we have a side ride flashlight pouch right off to the side there. And again, you can start to see how modular and scalable this Blackguard system is. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us at defensemechanisms.com. Thanks, everyone.